Good evening. Complex trauma is a global issue. More than 450 million children are affected by wars, natural disasters and forced displacement. These children are at significant risk of experiencing violence. Some are in actively involved in perpetrating the violence themselves. Our work with former child soldiers suggests that children abducted by armed groups are forced to maim, forced to kill and forced into rape. The mental health consequences of violence are devastating. Children transitioning from the war zone to the classroom are often suffering from the effects of post-traumatic stress disorder, depression, anxiety and behavioural issues. So it's vital that we develop effective and sustainable treatments to assist these children. However, in post-conflict settings, mental health services are often entirely absent. To address this gap, our team developed a psychological intervention to assist war-affected youth in Sierra Leone. We designed the Youth Readiness Intervention and have published on it broadly with an aim to build resilience, reduce the impacts of trauma and increase readiness to return to school. It's delivered by local interventionists and we've found that our intervention is successful in improving psychological outcomes and psychological functioning, but also a range of other important processes like creating positive behaviour change, social interactions and assisting youth to uh, engage in positive emotion regulation. <clears throat> These outcomes are really exciting for young people who are not only experience the horrors of war, but who often live in settings of ongoing instability and violence. Psychological improvements weren't the only changes we saw either. For young people who received the youth readiness intervention, we found that they were more likely to then later enrol in school, to attend class regularly, and their teachers rated them as better behaved at school. So delivering a psychological intervention in post-conflict settings not only improves child mental health, but supports youth in engaging in education and secures the economic futures for that community. My lab at UWA is dedicated to improving mental health outcomes for children affected by complex trauma. We're currently working in disaster affected areas in China, Nepal and in Australia to expand the evidence base and assist children who, who are greatly in need. My collaborators at the Harvard Chan School of Public Health as well as Oxford University, Bristol University and Caritas are vital to this work and I'm grateful for the support of the NHMRC and Australian Psychological Society. Violence can affect children anywhere, whether it's a war zone in Syria or a suburb in Australia, millions of children are caught in the cycle of trauma. Together we're working to ensure that no child is defined by a trauma and that they're given every opportunity to reach their full potential. Thank you.